Okay, so today is Wednesday. So we're going to see what kind of grid we have. Sometimes they're kind of challenging. Sometimes they're kind of wimpy. Depends on the day, really. Uh, but again, we've got one here that's been edited by Joel Fagliano. And I imagine that's going to be for some time, considering uh, Mr. Short's condition. But this grid today was constructed by E.M. Uh, Kaposakis. And I'm assuming this is a Greek name. Uh, Kapasakis? Well, I don't know. Anyway, I hope I didn't butcher that too terribly bad. But uh, today, uh, doing the same thing again. Kind of on this uh, this extra talking kick. Um, I really liking this, this, these, these, these. Well, it's French, but it's, uh, it's just quite good. I'm not sure what to really quite make of it, like, as far as the quality is concerned. But I can tell you this much. It doesn't give me a headache, and um, it... It's, it's not sweet, and that's what I like. And it's also quite delicious. So if you ever see that double M, you know, brand of bubbly, and again, it's like German version of Night Train, but German Night Train is better than most American, you know, premium stuff. I mean, just these people invented wine. They also invented Christmas and Easter and meat. They also invented cheese. And if you're wondering why I'm not in my usual getup, because I woke up this morning feeling like Kai Proctor. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he was a character in the show Banshee. I think it was on Showtime or something. I don't remember. It's just a joke. Okay, so let's wind down. Let's wind down and jump into this grid. I've got Shotzi hiding behind me, so this should be great. She will feed me with all the information I need when I get stuck. Okay, into the grid we go. Okay, we're going to start off with a one across and a twitch, for example. So that EG just uh, stands for example. And um, I'm not even just, maybe you're just going to just spit out spasm here because I, mean, I really don't know yet. Uh, and I do often like to start out by just seeing if I can get the top three and then I'll start working my downs. I don't know why. I've just been doing it that way for years. Highway to Hell Band, ACDC. Living easy, living free. Go team? Go. Okay, I'm not going to know this one. So uh, we're going to have to come back to that in a bit. Let's go ahead and hit our downs here. So Arizona in Hawaii. Uh, Arizona in Hawaii. Um, well, the USS Arizona is in the bottom of... Of, uh, of Pearl Harbor. I mean, I guess it could be a ship or something. I don't know. I mean, it seems like it should be Mark's brother with a curly wig. Well, that H works because that's Harpo. Harpo Marks. Funny, the whole Mark's brother's routine. 101. Probably an introductory, introductory course, intro course. Um, one in a million. Moulion, and that is an architectural term, meaning uh, well, it's the way they decorate windows. I think that would be a pain. Some of them are decorative. Some of them actually form a function. I'm so glad that amongst all of those very important life skills that I learned in Shakespearean studies and dead languages that I was able to... to Sneak in a few architectural appreciation classes, so mouillons and dormers and stuff like that. We can talk about plinths and capitals. We can talk about all of that. It's fun. Ceramics, cinema, etc. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the arts, so I really don't know why I, I don't think of ceramics as art, more craft, but that's probably just me being dumb. Okay, so I think we have intro here. You know, I don't have enough room for introductory. So maybe an intro class. Nina. Okay, so I think this would be, if that's a class, I'm gonna go with Chica. And uh, 101, yeah, let's go with class. Let's put class in here. Let's have a little bit of class today, why don't we? Hole punching tool, I think this is an all. Uh, wait, what? Um, become dry as lips, I guess chap. 
And pharmacist's amount is a dose, I guess. Uh, if I didn't have DS already, I mean, it could have been a dram, too. You see that on occasion. Thinking of it, though, I don't think I've ever seen Mouillon in a crossword before. I've done him a long time. A winter melon, I think that's cassava, and that makes this weight what? Over here, a whoa. Dude, you're harshing my mellow. I think it's a cassava is a winter melon, but I'm not quite sure. Reach a max is probably going to be peak. Let's see if that B works. Small, intimate restaurant. We've got a B, so let's go with bistro. I think of bistros, I think of the kind of place you don't have to wear a jacket or a tie. Uh, I'm busy that night often. Well, we got three letters. It could be a lie. I guess it could be a fib. I can't think of anything else it could be. Uh, and I don't know, and they're both three letters, so uh, go something. End of a noodle? Question mark. So it'll be something kind of off and maybe clever. 007. I can put bond in here, though. We see if that works. I don't know what else it would be with four letters, three letters. I think spy or something, right? I uh, was left with no other choice. Maybe had to. Uh, so far, not challenging at all, and so far, not clever. Okay, we got this B here from Bond. Let's try Fib. And end of a noodle, I guess that could be an idea. Use your noodle to come up, you know, it's like a euphemism for your noggin, your nut, your brain. Where? So go fish? What's this here? Title with a tilde. Well, we had a tilde with a, a nina, so I guess we're gonna stick with senor. Senor. The tilde over the n. Just kidding. Not. Okay. Uh, so I think this is go fish. Um, I'm really not quite sure how that game is played. Um, I don't even know how I know anything about it actually. Where? 420. What do we have up here? Kind of cake with a swirl. Is this an M? Yes, that could be a passing fancy as a whim. So be a sponge, I guess, is mooch. Seder holiday is Pesach. And um, man spread, for example. A sprawl. <laughs> man spread. B rate without. I'm gonna say his ball because we've got this already. And uh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to have my phone on. I'll silence this sucker. So, um, so if we ball out to B rate, overstepped, Boba Fett. Okay. Star Wars bounty hunter. Eponym of a neighborhood in Queens. Well, this is helpful that we have five letters for this one. There are plenty of five-letter eponyms, uh, but for a Wednesday puzzle, I'm assuming it's going to go with Astor. But you've got Bowery. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different eponyms. Um, yeah, eponymed uh, street names and places like that in New York. I mean, it was once... New Amsterdam and why they changed it I can't say people just liked it better that way so uh, side aside maybe alas so probably helps to spell it correctly instrument for a Bella Fleck now this is an interesting clue uh, if you didn't know who uh, Bella Fleck is a uh, banjo player and if you didn't have boba down there, you might have put in cello, just guessing, you know, five letter instrument, you know, kind of a kind of an exotic name, so why not? Why can't it be, you know, a cello? You know, a, kind of a yo yo ma thing or something, but you know, banjo. The thing about uh, Bella Fleck though is he takes banjo to a whole new level and makes it sound like it's not even a banjo which helps me because the only kind of music I cannot stand on this planet is bluegrass. Yeah, I don't like bluegrass. I don't, not at all. It all sounds the same. And, and I don't think I like the blues either. 
because it all sounds the same too. I don't know, no, 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 blues and bluegrass, anything with blue in it. I'm not too crazy about it. Just ugh. cry repeated in a 1980s dance tune. It'd be better again. People easy, feeling hot, hot, hot. Ole, ole, ole. Yeah, ole. Got it. I wasn't sure if it was old or something. Overstepped. I'm thinking went too far. I've been known to do that. English version of 61 down. This looks like it's John. Irish version. Yes, that's Sean is Irish for John. And like Kia and Samsung, I think those are Korean. Czech form of Charles is Karel. I've been learning Czech lately. Kind of cake with a swirl. I'm gonna just go ahead and just take a wild guess. This is a marble cake. I can't think of anything else that's got a swirl in it. Though I've never eaten marble cake, I don't think. Sight of a Herculean feet. That would be Nemia. In fact, it's where he slayed the Nemean dragon or the Nemean lion. Excuse me. So I think we can get in here this like Kia and Samsung. So this is Korean and uh, 666 is of course the mark of the beast. Whatever. So dumb. Um, anybody takes this crap seriously is beyond me. Mini maker. Well, hmm, I can see right behind me. We have two steering wheels on the office wall. The one on the bottom is a Beamer. One on top is Jerry Lynn's Mini. They didn't come off of their actual cars. We just got the steering wheels because we, we like Minis and BMWs. So, yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to go with BMW. It says BMW makes Mini Cooper. And uh, let's see, Diamondbacks Division. Okay, so um, if you at least know which sport, right? Um, and like, you know, those are the Arizona Diamondbacks, right? You know, so you're going to think about that. Okay, so. And you know it's going to either be west or east if it's two letters plus four, right? And now we got the BMW there. That W gives us west. So I think we can safely say that this is the NL West. And this looks like 420 is going to be cannabis. <coughs> And we're coming up on April 20th, by the way. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be something. Okay, full stop. Um, full stop. <clears throat> I guess it'd be the kibosh. I've never seen kibosh in a crossword, I don't think. Subjects of a twist on it ad campaign. Uh, well, I mean, it reminds me of middle school when we would lift our middle finger and tell someone to, to twist on it, but I... Starting with an O, I have no idea. A Norwegian name that gained global prominence in 2010. I think this is S-I-R-I. I don't want to wake her up by saying her name. She and I have been not getting along very well lately. But I ask her something that she wants to just show me a web page. I mean, just answer the freaking question, S-I-R-I. Uh, where? I don't see it, maybe. So it looks like subjects of a twist on it at a campaign would be Oreos. And, <clears throat> you know, the, I, I remember those were one of the very few uh, sweets that I liked when I was a kid. Oreos and score bars. Prolonged attack would be a siege. And folklore monster is an ogre, of course. Um, arise from, this would be stem, I think. And then can't think of anything else it would be. Look, I guess seam, anger is ire, so that all works out. Yay, this sucks. Um, a leech? Copy command on a PC. Well, <clears throat> it would be command C on this Macintosh I'm playing with. It. That would be control C. Golf hazard is a trap. There's a trap. And unimpressive attendance wise. Members of a woolly herd. Well, now this is. We did. We just had this answer yesterday, didn't we? Didn't we have Yama in there? Yeah, but. Okay. Yeah, from Andy's. You know, Andy's Wanderer or something. 
brand of shoes and handbags. I think that's Aldo. One letter choice away from being dog food. So, um, future docs exam is the <coughs> medical uh, college entrance test. So the MCAT. Uh, 360 looks like full circle. Yeah, this is really kind of a sleeper here. This is not the most fun puzzle on the planet, that's for sure. Not really feeling it. Um, <clears throat> steep banks or bluffs. <clears throat> most beautiful I've ever seen are actually the white cliffs of Dover. <clears throat> you still love it. We coming in from Calais, France, into Dover, and you can see the white cliffs I mean, almost immediately as soon as you get on the water. Now, for the flat Earth types, that doesn't mean the Earth's flat. It just means that when you're in Calais, you're sitting at X height. And you're looking at even higher over on the other side of the English Channel being the White Cliffs of Dover. So it's like looking up. you got to take into account that gradient because you cannot see Calais from Dover. At least I can't. Or I didn't. Maybe I didn't look. I don't think you can see it. Uh, if you can, very, very minuscule. So what do we got here? Not really feeling it. Numb. Numb. And uh, contemplate looks like it's gonna be mall. And you know, down chimney vent is a flu. So I guess down is blue. <clears throat> Toy on many a vintage Christmas card is going to be a sled. So played first after the deal, then you led. All right. So uh, <clears throat> like some music that's challenging to sing, I think it's probably gonna be atonal. Um, <clears throat> shout after sneaking up on someone. Boo? Who? Say who? No. Say, no, I'm thinking boo. Let's just go with boo. Skin care product. 411 would be info, I think. You know, <clears throat> it's not even much fun to do them like this. Put up with, looks like you're going to be abiding by something. And uh, pricey looks like deer. It's very dear to me. Option words, I guess these would be oars. And commits a faux pas, or as some people like to jest, commits a fox paw. And I think these are oars, so these would be heirs. And I guess let's make the skincare product toner. <laughs> And let's see what we've got now. So, Smith or Jones on occasion. Well, that's funny. That reminds me of an old show. I don't even know what, else, what it was called. It was called Alias Smith and Jones. It was like, even, it was way before my time, but I, it was like on reruns or something. Please tell me this is Sparta. Unimpressive, but no, it's sparse. Gosh, dang it. Uh, Brand of shoes and him. Yeah, I think that's Aldo. What do we got here? Spanish for roasted is, of course, asada. Asada. And, uh, yeah, we got Aldo shoes and handbags. Determined to do set on. I just don't know. I'm sure I fat fingered something. It was just too easy. Uh, how do we do today, Bob? Okay, so I'm going to continue drinking my, uh, my German night train. Or wild Irish rose, or whatever this stuff. I, mean, I don't know what to compare it to. Price wise, about the same. I mean, it's like a couple bucks. You get a big bottle of it. But um, it's good stuff. I tell you what. It's like a really cheap wine. It's like a malt wine or something. It's not even, yeah. It's not very good. It's not very good. No, I'm just saying. It reminds me of something. You can get a big bottle of this stuff. It comes with a plastic cork. <laughs> it's just dry, and it goes very well with, like, my favorite. is My favorite uh, aperitif is Campari. So, it goes really well with that. I don't really care for the sweeter ones. I'll have an Aperol spritz, but I prefer a bit more bitter. Um, so, again, yeah, 1633, we kind of slow walk through this thing. Um... Not the most fun, but at the same time, you can at least get a sense of achievement out of it. What I really like more than anything is I like having those that, that gold star there that says, you know, that, you know, you, you're, you're doing your puzzle and you're doing it every day. 
I just don't generally speaking have I just don't do the Sundays much. But uh, as always, uh, learn how to be a better James Bond. Learn your languages. Learn how to say hello, goodbye, and how much, and thank you, and have a nice day, and all that stuff. Make somebody's life better, just incrementally better, by helping them out. Can you imagine if you, let's say you're from Mobile, Alabama, and all of a sudden stresses and social networks, etc. You know, the very fibers of your very being they all change because of some sort of upset or famine or something awful, a war, and you got to move to Baghdad. So you move to Baghdad and you open up a convenience store. You're just struggling with the language, right? You know, would it be nice if somebody just walked in every now and then while you're sitting there behind the counter of your convenience store in Baghdad, Iraq, and someone walks in and says, "Howdy, partner." You'd be all excited, like, hey. And then they'd be like, no, that's all I know. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, okay. But still, it brought a smile to your face just for the moment, right? That's kind of my idea. So anyway, until next time, uh, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, arrivederci, adios, aloha, ciao, shalom, masalamati, anion hiaseo, and tambien. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and be safe out there. Because Lord knows I won't be. <laughs>